shocking inputs coming in from the state of Uttar Pradesh. We are now learning the BSP MP Afzal Ansari has been sentenced to four years and has been fined one lakh rupees. The MP uh, has been, the MLA has uh, been sentenced in the gangster case. And the MP MLA court has given its verdict. The latest we are learning is that Mukhtar Ansari has got 10 years in jail in a kidnapping case while his brother Afzal uh, Ansari has been sentenced to four years of imprisonment. For more details, I'm joined in by our Uttar Pradesh bureau chief, Pranshu Fisha, on the phone line. Pranshu, please share the details with us and how crucial is this verdict going to be considering uh, now Afzal Ansari risks losing his seat? Yes, Akanksha, see, it's a major uh, major verdict which has been just awarded by the MP MLA court in Ghazipur. In fact, uh, uh, Afzal Ansari, who is elder to elder brother of Mukhtar Ansari, the dawn turned politician. Uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, around an hour back reported at how Mukhtar Ansari has been awarded 10 years of rigorous imprisonment in a gangster act case. Now, Afzal Ansari, who is the sitting member of parliament from the BSP ticket from the Ghazipur constituency, has also got four years of rigorous imprisonment and one lakh rupee fine in the same gangster act case that was registered against the brothers in 2007. So that technically means that, you know, any parliamentarian, any MLA or MP for that matter, if he gets minimum of two years or more than that, more than two years of imprisonment, he clearly, he or she stands to be automatically, you know, disqualified uh, from the membership of the said house. And that means that Afzal Ansari will soon be no longer the member of the Lok Sabha. We have seen in case of Rahul Gandhi very recently that just two years, exactly two years of, of, of punishment uh, has resulted in in loss of membership for Congress's, Congress's Rahul Gandhi. And same, I think, will now be the case very clearly in the case of uh, Mr. Abzal Ansari, who is elder brother of Mukhtar Ansari, is a present member of parliament from Ghazipur constituency in 2019. He has defeated BJP stalwart Major Manoj Sinha, who was then a union minister and later on was also the, the governor of Jammu and Kashmir. So Abzal Ansari has defeated uh, you know, Manoj Sinha in 2019. But now, after this order, Akanksha, it is all very clear that very soon we'll be getting this confirmation also from the Lok Sabha Secretariat that Afzal Ansari is no longer the member of parliament. That is what the process or the, the, the technical procedure now remains to happen. But clearly, I mean, if you talk about the crime, the action right. against the big mafia, this comes in as a major development as far as government's drive against the Ansari brothers is concerned. Absolutely. And when you talk about uh, the government's drive against the Ansari brothers is concerned, let's also try and contextualize what losing the Lok Sabha seat will mean, not just for Afzal Ansari, but also Mukhtar Ansari. Because remember, Remember, uh, the Lok Sabha seat is what was also giving a form of am uh, ammunition to uh, the Ansari brothers. Yes, Akanksha, you know, see, uh, the, the, uh, the, the very fact that someone is a member of parliament or is an elected representative in a family uh, that, that has been long accused of having, uh, of shielding the mafia, you know, activities, that will clearly come in as a big setback as far as the larger approach or resources of the family is concerned. See, Afzal Ansari uh, has been, uh, because of being the member of parliament, uh, being, a, being, a, being a, you know, an established politician, was always out, and he was the one who was actually trying to, you know, uh, 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 manage the things for Mukhtar Ansari and, uh, and his family all the mm -hmm. while when Mukhtar Ansari was behind the bars. So technically right now it means that Afzal Ansari from the court itself has been taken in custody and he will be sent to the jail. So Afzal Ansari who was the man uh, 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 outside the prisons for the family till now doing all sort of you know management for the family that man clearly now goes behind the bars and therefore uh, the overall strength of the family the clout of the Ansari family that will clearly see a major setback with Afzal Ansari also going behind the bars Absolutely. in terms of long term political you know uh, uh, patronage which this family has it means that Afzal Ansari can no longer contest the election so i think if he had any idea his aspirations of recontesting the lok sabha polls in the in the elections uh, uh, you know in may next year those hopes have been demolished he can't contest for at least 6 years uh, uh, for, for, from now on unless and until a higher court you know overturns the order of the sessions court so that clearly means that the clout which this family had mm. now sees a further setback a big setback came in last year when uh, Mukhtar Ansari was first convicted with the 10 years regress, uh, regress imprisonment in one of the gangster act case since then it was very clear that Mukhtar Ansari can no longer contest the elections today again Mukhtar Ansari has been awarded 10 years of punishment in another case so the only person in his family who were you know uh, out in public life in political life who could have hoped for contesting the elections and thereby keeping the stocks up for the family that also now goes down with Afzal Ansari's conviction and per subsequent award, uh, award of 
punishment. And therefore, we, we are saying that, you know, uh, more than Mukhtar Ansari's uh, uh, verdict against Mukhtar Ansari today, uh, it is uh, the, 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 uh, the quantum of punishment and the conviction which has been announced against Afzal Ansari, that becomes a much more important as far as the larger drive of Yogi Adityanath's government against uh, the Ansaris in Uttar Pradesh is concerned. Absolutely. A huge setback for Mukhtar and uh, Afzal Ansari. And with that, in fact, let's move over to some more breaking inputs. अब आगे की कार्रवाई तो जो भी होना है अब तो सेशन कोर्ट के खिलाफ उच्च न्यायालय प्रयागराज में ही होना है अब वहाँ नकल मिलने के बाद वहाँ भेज दिया जाएगा हाई कोर्ट में अब वहाँ के अधिवक्ता जो है कार्रवाई करेंगे अभी आप जल अंसारी को किस जेल में रखा जाएगा अभी तो यहाँ से जो वारंट बना है वो गाजीपुर कारागार के लिए बना है गाजीपुर कारागार में भेजा गया है जी आपका नाम आपका नाम आपका नाम लियाकत अली एडवोकेट लियाकत